This video is part of a series on Blender 2.78a video editing. Be sure to check out the description of this video for a full playlist. And today we're going to be working with the speed of our film. So let's go ahead and go up here to our video editor. And uh, we're going to go ahead and add in a video clip. This one right here of my daughter running. We're going to uncheck sound because we're not going to work with that today. And um, so this is our video clip. Zoom in here. I'm going to hit Alt A to play. It's going to be caching it here at first. And of course, as I change it, we'll have to cache it again. So there we go. It's her running. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that video. I'm going to go up Add and Effect. And I'm going to choose Speed Control. Where is it? Where is it? Speed Control. Right there. So now you can see it's still playing at the regular speed. But with the Speed Control selected, I can scroll down in the effects here. And you can see by default, it's uh, Stretch to Input Strip Length. So if I was to grab this and shrink it down to a little less than half the size, we'll play it a little over double the speed. And if I was to grab it and move it out really long, she's going to run really slow. So that's adjusting it to, you know, visually just grabbing it and I want it to be this long and I want it to play for this long. But you have another option with uh, the speed control selected. We can uncheck that box, set this factor to 1, and then choose a speed. If I want it to be double the speed, I can say two. And now, uh, when the video starts playing, it'll play at twice the speed, and when it gets to the end of the video, it's just gonna freeze frame. And the other way around, I can say 0.5, and that would be half speed. So let's go ahead and see how that goes. And there she is at half speed. Again, you can see the line here, this is the original video clip length, and we're at about twice that. If Even in slow-mo, if I go past that, it should, we should get a little bit of a still frame at the end here because I'm going past uh, the, the length that we have set. There we, there we go. So those are your options. So again, you um, choose your video, say add, effect, speed control, and then make sure you have the speed control selected and scroll down here to effect strip. And by default, it will be stretched, so whatever length you make the video, it will adjust the speed accordingly. Or you can uncheck that and be sure to set factor to one uh, and then you can do your multiply speed. Uh, you know, you can change the factor to other things, but just to make it simple, if you want half speed, you know, you set factor to one, you set it to 0.5, it's half speed, two is double speed, four would be quadruple speed, blah, 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 on and on. Uh, so that's great, you know, especially like I said in previous videos, uh, I used to do wedding videos, do a lot of slow-mo in wedding videos because it's romantic. I also like the grainy film effect like we did in the last video, Lots of times I'll speed up the video a, bit, a little bit of that because I think it just adds a little bit to the video. So uh, uh, adjusting the speed is important. Um, it could be done poorly like in some some martial arts films where they're obviously sped up when they're fighting, but actually a lot of action films uh, will film, or at least back in the day when they were using film cameras, uh, would film them, or um, let me make sure I say this the right way, not backwards. So they, they might film them at 30 frames a second, which is what uh, digital video is, and then play them, no, I had it right the first time. They film it with film cameras at 24 frames a second, and then play it back at 30 frames a second, so it's slight, or 29.97 frames a second. So it's slightly sped up, and it's not enough for you to really notice. And a lot, supposedly, a lot of action films do this just to make everyone look a little bit faster in what they're doing, but not to the point where it's cheesy. So, so if you're going to have a fight scene or an action scene, like a shootout or something, you want to look a little bit crisper, you can add a little bit of speed, but don't overdo it, or people will call you out on it, unless you're trying to go for a cheesy film effect. Uh, that's just a little bit of advice. I do thank you for watching. As always, I hope that you have a great day. Please visit filmsbychris.com. As always, be sure to like, share, subscribe, comment. Have a great day.